what's up easy bakers so for today's video we're going to be making this strawberry cheesecake and if you haven't already go ahead and follow us on instagram at easy bakers llc and let's just go ahead and be a gang 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 by hitting that subscribe button so as usual this is an easy video so let's jump on into it so you want to go ahead and preheat your oven of course to 350 degrees then go ahead and get yourself some uh graham crackers if you don't want to use graham crackers, you can use biscuits or whatever it is that make your hearts content. But we're going to be using graham crackers for this. So I go ahead and pulse my graham crackers up just a little bit. Then I'm going to add some sugar as well as a little bit of melted butter to this and go ahead and get that pulsed in there as well. You want to, if you do not have a food processor, you can use a zip lock bag with a rolling pin and you just bang the hell out of it because you got too much going on and coronavirus is making us go crazy so you need to take your frustrations out so you're gonna bang these graham crackers but go ahead you're gonna mix in your melted butter as well as your your tablespoon of sugar and move on to the next step so i prepare my pan by generously buttering it and also placing some aluminum foil at the bottom of it because I do cook my cheesecakes inside of a water bath. So now that I now that my pan is prepared and your oven is on 350 degrees, girl, you're going to just dump over those graham crackers at the bottom of the your springform pan. And you're going to go ahead and spread an even layer and bake it inside of the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. And that's just to allow your graham cracker crumbs not to get all up in your cheesecake filling. So once it's done, you're gonna go ahead and take that crust out of the oven and set it aside and work on your cream cheese filling. I'm adding four eight ounce softened cream cheese to my stand mixer with two cups of all purpose sugar. And then y'all see me making a TikTok girl. Look at me over here making a TikTok. Follow me on TikTok too, boo boo. So go ahead and cream that together until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to go ahead and add our heavy cream. And as usual, you're gonna take your rubber spatula and just go ahead and scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure everything is mixing together well. So now you're gonna go ahead and add a generous pinch of salt with your all-purpose flour. This is the all-purpose flour, girl. Your all-purpose flour. And I also like to add some sour cream. As usual, all of my list of ingredients will be linked down inside of the description box for your convenience. And on top of that, I like to use a vanilla bean. If you don't have a vanilla bean in your area, you can just use some vanilla extract or some vanilla powder as well. You'll get the same results. So once you add this, all of these things in, you're just gonna go ahead and stir that up until, mix it up until there. Everything is nice and smooth. And once it's nice and smooth, you're going to do the most important thing, which is add your eggs. One at a time, okay? So when I say one at a time, I literally mean just that. You're gonna go ahead and pour that one egg in there, mix it around until you really don't see it anymore. Then you're gonna continue to add the other three eggs, making sure you use that rubber spatula, girl. The cheesecake filling is all done. You're gonna take that crust that you took out of the oven, place it in a deep pan for your water bath, and pour some hot water into that pan. You just want the water to come up about an inch and a half. Um, and when you're done with that, you're just gonna go ahead and pour that filling into your pan and place it in the oven um, on that 350 degree oven for one hour. And after it gets done for one hour, you're going to keep it in there for another hour. So to a medium-sized saucepan on medium-high heat, 
I'm going to be cooking up my strawberries. I'm taking some diced strawberries, adding a little bit of sugar to this with some vanilla extract, as well as some lemon juice, girl. Um, I had a total of a pound of strawberries, a, a, a pound and some change, you know what I'm saying, of strawberries, but everything's gonna be listed in the description box. So once I do that, I'm going to just go ahead and stir that up a little bit just until everything is mixed up well. And I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes until my sugar has dissolved and my strawberries have kind of just softened up a teeny bit. So now that my strawberries have been cooking for about 10 minutes, I'm just going to give it a little stir just to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom of the pan. Then I'm going to add the rest of my strawberries inside of this pan just so they can soften up a little bit as well and i'm also going to be adding a corn cornstarch slurry because with this um it's not going to be as thick if you don't add that corn um starch slurry so this has been cooking for about two minutes just like i said to soften up those larger strawberries then i'm just going to go ahead and set that aside let it cool off a little bit because the cooler it gets the thicker that it's going to become so you guys in the mail we received the cutest oven mitt and pot hover set besides them being cute as ever and heat resistant i do like how they have that anti-slip design and i also like that they're very durable and that the inside material um, is really soft. I have a lot of oven mittens and I really don't, they not the best girl, basically. But I've tried these out uh, quite a few times. I think I used them about 10 times and they work per perfect for me. So if you guys are interested in purchasing these oven mitts or any other type of oven mitts from this company, all of the information about them will be linked inside of the description box. And you should also have a good old discount code for your girl at Easy Bakers. So now we're just gonna go ahead and jump back into this cheesecake video. So your cheesecake has rested in the oven for an hour. You're taking it out now and you notice that it's slightly jiggly in the center. And that's what you want it to be. So now we're gonna take those cooled off strawberries that we made earlier and we're just gonna go ahead and spoon that on the top of the cheesecake now you do want to make sure that your um strawberry topping is more like a jam consistency rather than a jelly you know what i'm saying because you want it to like slightly ooze out of it when you go ahead and cut it you know what i'm saying So once you put your uh, filling on top of that, you're going to just go ahead and use a fork or something and flip those half strawberries over. So the cut, the slit part will be facing down and the pretty part will be facing you. So once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and put this inside the refrigerator for at least six to let's just say overnight. We're gonna put this inside the refrigerator overnight because you want everything to set. But if you do not have overnight, Give me at least four to six hours. Girl, give me six hours. You ain't got nothing to do. That's why we plan ahead. But anywho, once you just go ahead and put this inside the refrigerator, once it starts to set, you are all done with your cheesecake. So it's set. It's nice and pretty. Now you have to do the hardest part known to mankind is removing this sh from this goddamn gon' spring form pan, which is not that too complicated. But it is hard as shit. Girl, it's hard. Like, when you work so hard on this cheesecake and then you just gonna mess it up removing it from the pan, that's the problem right there. But, anywho, I also use a little bit of parchment paper to go ahead and put on the side so I could get that picture-perfect type of look that I was looking for. So, you guys, here's my strawberry cheesecake. This is so wonderful. Y'all know I love cheesecake. This is the best way I feel to make cheesecake. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like if you found this useful. And I'll talk to you on my next video, girl.